Hello and welcome, my name is Thorsten. I'm the founder of Dividend Stocks Cash, a stock screener for long-term growth investing. Yet another stock screener you could ask, and this is a justified question. There are already a lot of uh, stock screeners on the market. Some are free, others are partly free, like this one. And uh, I try to explain you why yet another stock screener and what, why this stock screener is a little bit different than uh, ours. And um, first I created this one because I wasn't satisfied with uh, existing, pre-existing stock screeners. If I use a stock screener, I want to find uh, high quality stocks, meaning uh, stocks with uh, stable increasing uh, profits, earnings and dividends so that I don't need to worry about uh, the future. I want to find stocks which are um, I want to find stocks for long-term investing. And uh, if you use a, a stock screener, then uh, it's highly probable that you are working with metrics, key ratios, which uh, are not suited to find uh, these high quality stocks, that you are working with metrics like price earnings or price to book ratio or uh, dividend yield is also, uh, of, also often offered. And um, this metrics are nothing but uh, snapshots and uh, they don't say anything about the long-term quality of a company uh, respective of the stock of this company and they are uh, if they ha have a meaning then it's mostly uh, as to use them as a contra indicator asking yourself why a uh, low price a stock has a low uh, price earnings why the market doesn't um, allow the stock to be more expensive than it is currently now. And um, there are also uh, other metrics which are often used like uh, years of uh, dividend increase, which is already uh, an indicator for stability. But if this is the best indicator a stock screener can offer you, then uh, I will guarantee you that the list you will get by this one uh, won't be won't have so many uh, hits for so many stocks satisfying your needs as you wish. And um, in worst case, you will buy the stocks and will uh, find out much later that it's not the stocks you wanted to buy forehand. And um, this means that I'm not working with this matrix. They are very common. They are used everywhere, but this doesn't make the matrix the right ones to find high quality stocks. Another, uh, another thing I didn't like about uh, the stock screeners I've seen is uh, navigation meaning that uh, normally you have a first the filter there you define the criteria, then uh, you get a list and then you can uh, select a single stock in the list and then you get somewhere deeper and see more detailed more details about the stock and you it's as you are always jumping between one and the other and uh, this means that if you go from the list to the stock the list uh, vanishes a new page is built and uh, this takes about a second, for example. And then you see the details of the stock. There's maybe sub navigation. You navigate for the back. And uh, finally, you go back to the list. List is recreated again. You must search where you are and, and so on. So it's uh, the, the, the user flow is not that nice, I think. And uh, often stock screeners have no estimates included and uh, no fair values and so on. So there are some um, parts I don't like very much about uh, stock screeners. There are good stock screeners on the market, yes, for sure, like uh, Finvis, but these are stock screeners for, for our kind of, um, of persons, for traders, for example, which is, Finvis is very technical, has very lots of technical uh, key ratios. But to find uh, high quality sto stocks for long-term investing, I didn't find any stock screener which satisfied my needs. So uh, then uh, have a look at this one. It's here. And uh, here it is. 
the um, basics, uh, the basic structure is the same because it makes sense, meaning that first you have a filter area where you define what you want. So you can say, for example, I want earnings, I want to find a curve or invest into companies with very stable earnings, meaning you can choose here, the higher the better, one is the best. So you can say 1.8 and you say, I don't only want I not only want uh, stable earnings, but I want stable rising earnings. For example, here, a five and 10 years average, yearly average, at least by 10%, for example. You choose this one or select this one. Then you say, I'm a dividend investor. I want also stable dividends. And you can go even, even higher than uh, with the earnings with ease because um, dividends can also be paid, uh, even increased on short term if uh, earnings are not so uh, didn't develop evolve so good and uh, for for sure earnings should uh, grow so it's a uh, 10% we also have uh, many other metrics making sense uh, regarding revenues operating cash flows and so on but uh, doesn't we, we won't make it too complicated for now so we have chosen these criteria, and they are already applied on this list here. It's a list of international stocks. We can increase the list. So it's not only the United States, it's also a lot of Western Europe and uh, Asia, even Australia is there. Try to uh, quality before quantity, you can say. I don't want to have as many stocks as possible, but I want to have as many high quality stocks as possible. And um, here is the output uh, matching our criteria. And what do you see here? We see first that we have here an ordinary area, what's, which stock it is. And then you have a uh, matrix. We have matrix, one in uh, blue and one time in green. And the green ones are matrix uh, regarded profitabil profitability. So here it's a uh, all about earnings. Here's the earning stability. We use this as a filter criteria and uh, I can uh, filter by earning stability descending, meaning that um, now these uh, companies we have here are companies with very, very, very stable earnings. So what does this mean when we stable earnings? We can visualize if I click here to uh, CTS event time, that's a German company paying dividends and here you can see what stable earnings mean. It means that there is a steady increase in earnings, a very steady and stable increase of earnings. And uh, the companies like this, they are not rare, they exist. Dozens of these companies exist, many dozens of these companies exist, but uh, normally it's very hard to find them. We uh, just to show you that uh, that was no uh, coincidence. Here we have another company. This is a, it's a British one, but for sure there also exists here like Jack Henry, uh, American companies. They are even in the majority here. And uh, what's interesting is that for these companies, even in uh, terms of crisis, like here in the investment uh, financial crisis. Uh, earnings remained very, very stable and did not um, did not decrease. So all these companies are very good regarding stability. Then we have the increase, the not only the stability, and here we have the growth of the earnings. Uh, yearly, 10 years, 5 years, you can compare if uh, the growth slows down or if it accelerates. It's also formatted. We have here something normal or most um, stock screeners don't have. We have uh, uh, the uh, estimates. You can also see this here. We have estimates of next uh, three years. And this year tells you if for the running year, the first estimated business year, if everything's in order of, or if there might be a problem because analysts say the uh, earnings will decrease, like here for Nike. 
if we uh, choose Nike, then we can see uh, here. Then we can see that we have oh, wait. Then we can see here slight uh, decrease of earnings from the last full business year to the next full business year. It's not a dramatic decrease, but uh, anyway, it is a uh, decrease. So we also have the same uh, logic for cash flows, operating cash flows, for revenues, to give you even uh, more details about uh, the company and filter criteria about the companies. The structure, the logic is always the same. You have the stability measures, you have um, the matrix regarding uh, the growth rates and you have an outlook. So that's uh, very important. Here you have uh, the uh, key figures regarding the dividends. You have the dividend yield and years of dividend increase. That's uh, very common. Uh, you also find in other stock screeners, these kinds of things. And here you have uh, the same uh, matrix applied to dividends. I explained here, so stability, growth rates. You also have uh, payout ratios here regarding uh, free cash flow here. I also have a payout ratio regarding the earnings. You can hear you have free cash flow and you have the earnings. And uh, I don't show you here all the all the columns I have. For example, here you see that the payout ratio based on earnings is not shown right here. Payments by year, the dividend amount is also not shown. You can um, add columns, remove columns. You can even drag and drop columns around. Yeah, you see, yeah, we now changed the layout and the layout, this is persisted layout if you change it so you can personalize it as you wish. And uh, we have uh, fair value calculations, I will show you. We have uh, the uh, uh, price change up to 15 years here for the stock. If you like a stock, then you can add it to your watch list and then you can filter by watch list here. You can create as many watch lists as you want. And uh, finally, let's choose any stock like this one. This is an Italian stock company. And I show you what you can see in detail here. This you have already seen. There you see uh, up to 30, 40 years of history. Okay, that's not so impressive because uh, it's not so old. Let's choose another one. <laughs> Uh, bup, bup, bup. This one, for example, 40 years of dividend increase. So we can make that zoom off. And here you see that uh, it starts in the 80s, 87. And you can zoom anywhere you wish to see everything in more details. You can, uh, I've shown you that. Uh, turn off the zoom and then you see here everything you have the latest data it's a 12 trading months and then here you have the estimates in this chart you see a little bit more about uh, the origin of the evolution of the earnings uh, regarding margins and revenues this is per share data and this is per company data so um, this is not um, falsified uh, this data by uh, share buybacks or our uh, accountancy measures. Here you see a uh, fair value. So to uh, give you an impression if the stock is uh, cheap or if it's expensive right now, this is um, very sophisticated in my point of view. So it gives you uh, good hints about uh, the current price level. I will explain this. Yes, another fair value. I will explain this uh, in another video because it takes too much time. In fact, I can explain, make a video for each for each single chart and even here for uh, some metrics and explain uh, in deeper level what it's all about. But I just want to give you an overview and uh, show you where are the differences between uh, other stock screeners you maybe already know and this one. You know, I suggest you just uh, give it a try and uh, I didn't show you anything which exists. Just give it a try if you are interested in. Here is the membership section. If you uh, just uh, visit the homepage, you don't need to register first. You already see, you'll already see 40 stocks. These are the stocks with the top dividend history increase. 
if you like, you can uh, register as member. It's for free. Then you see uh, 80 stocks. And if you still like, which I hope, then you can uh, register or get full member. And um, this uh, will make you all, this will, yeah, you have access to all stocks. And you are so to um, our features, you will unlock what exactly it is you can uh, you can read here in these two lists so that's it uh, thank you very much for for uh, viewing this video i hope uh, you're interested you liked and uh, if you have any questions you can uh, ask me write me comment contact me so see you next time happy investing happy growth investing Jason. bye bye